I'm Madison. And I'm Deja. And welcome back to the Terrier News. Homecoming is around the corner, and the sale of tickets begin this week on Tuesday across from the cafeteria for the price $15 for the dance on the 29th of September. Any student wanting to bring an out-of-town guest must have an out-of-town guest form filled out and submitted to the attendance office by Thursday, September 20th, which can be picked up there as well. Tickets will not be sold at the door of Homecoming Dance nor Homecoming Week, as well as any fines and fees must be paid towards the administration before purchasing a ticket, so make sure to get those issues resolved to purchase a ticket before the sales end on Friday. Also, the class, purchase, the class that purchases the most tickets will receive a class pizza party on the 12th of October and also will receive points towards a spirit stick. Ticket dance sales, um, they go to help support the student council throughout the year. It will go to our homecoming charity, which is the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Remember to purchase your homecoming ticket on time as well to have a safe and enjoyable week of homecoming. The football team this year is an absolute unit, and the offensive line is more than just a force to be reckoned with. Currently a 4-0 team, the offensive line is one of the biggest contributors to the Terriers' perfect streak thus this far in the season. Lead by offensive line coach Stam, coach Stam, the offensive line has contributed their success to great chemistry, hard work, and dedication. With all of their off-season training and great hard work, they have allowed the offensive to thrive more than ever before, letting Dakiva Burley and Corey Blythe have an endless success on the field. Well, we always uh, believe that the game is won and lost up front, so our offensive line is uh, kind of taking, taking that on their backs. and. So far, so good. We just really come together. Our, our coach has this motto where we started the season like this, and now we're like this. That's, that's how he says it. The bleacher bums, as well as the rest of the school, are more grateful than ever to have an excellent offensive line and successful season. And we hope, and we hope that there will be even more vict victories coming to soon. CCH is fortunate enough to have Addicts Community Service Board to put on the after school program in our school. The after school program starts at 4 p.m. and ends at 6 p.m. and is located in the cafeteria. We are thankful for Addicts Community Center and Service Board for starting this program for low income students funded by the grants Addicts Community Service Board and other schools alongside the high school. Our students appreciate the food and the service of addicts community, community workers and our security guard, Mr. Wesley. This program was started based on low income for our community, for our community to build the community up in Carbondale. The benefits I see is that like a lot of people could get fed if they're not like able to be fed at home or if they don't have like food at home or if they're just after school and they're doing a club and they, you know, they're hungry. I see it being very successful. Um, last semester we were very success, uh, successful. Um, we had over 120 students come to the program. If you haven't checked it out, come by after school Tuesday through Thursday after school at 4. A week ago, the students of CCHS voted for this, this class officer after watching their speeches on how they would be qualified for the title. They all help plan out decorations for the hallways and work in the principal's advisory committee to discuss how they can augment the school year. Class officers work hard with the administration to modify the dress code and fundraising money to reduce prom tickets costs. Have a more comprehensive dress code um, with the work of uh, all different officers, not just responsible for me um, on my accomplishments. And secondly, something that I would like to take a little bit more credit for is uh, hallway decorations and um, how we were able to, you know, win the spirit stick and then have everyone, you know, get a slice of pizza for lunch one of those days. So that was pretty cool. I feel like the biggest struggle is just being able to work with other class members and making sure the ideas of the whole class as well as the rest of the officers gets developed into the right ideas and to what our class really wants. Definitely finding time. I mean, like, especially last year, we had a lot of concessions to work for, like, basketball and football and volleyball, and it was, like, really time-consuming and finding people to work that was difficult so I mean if like our class could participate a little bit more I think that would really help and that was one of our biggest struggles. We give out a huge thanks to the four of them for working so hard over the four years dedicating their time towards improving our school. What do you get when you mix a club super fan, grill master, and a jar of Hellman's mayonnaise? What the heck? That's Mr. Peck, our teacher of the week! <laughs> 
Mr. Peck was chosen after a series of questionnaires and a lot of long, hard thinking. He has been a teacher at CCHS for 19 years as a, as a resident chemistry genius. Students love him for his quirky nature and helpful attitude. I had Mr. Peck my sophomore year and I loved every day with him because he was a great teacher and he was really friendly and he uh, loves to crack jokes and uh, that's about it. Yeah, you just it's hard not to love him. Mr. Peck is one of my favorite teachers. Uh, me and him kind of connected on a personal level. We had a favorite sports teams, favorite foods, all kinds of things. So when he's teaching, I was more invested in it because I saw him more kind of like a friend and teacher. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that that was a thing. And people came in and they wanted to get some B-rolls. And I thought they were talking about day-old donuts at Casey's. And, and they said, no, it's footage because you won Teacher of the Week. So hey, that's great. We'd like to thank Mr. Peck for being a great teacher and an even better friend and we hope he has an even more successful school year ahead of him. Thank you for tuning in to this Thursday Terrier News. See you next Tuesday.